My bank has been terrific at getting me boxes of half dollars to hunt, and we've done pretty well this year. Will this box be as good as some of the others? Stay tuned. Hey collectors, thanks for watching. I'm the collector of coins, and that's right, I was able to get another box of half dollars. I haven't gotten any better at opening up these boxes. So I'm gonna have to put the camera down, hang on. Okay, we got the box open, and let's see if we have anything on the end that indicate whether or not this will be a good hunt. Nothing's popping out. All right, well, let's get started. Well, collectors, again, I really appreciate you watching. If you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel just yet, please give me a subscribe. Give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And um, for those that do coin wall hunting, I do sell a mat. There's a link down below in the description. All right. I'm going to start with this roll, and I'll bring you in as soon as there's something cool to see. Let's hope they're silver. Well, this box was a complete dud. Every roll hunted and absolutely no fines. Not even a not issued for circulation half dollar. You know, they were minted between 2002 to 2020. Very disappointing box, but this happens from time to time. Only one thing to do is just to get another box. Well, I know that first box at half dollars wasn't very good, but why do we have these massive ones? Well, it's to give us some luck. We got a second box. We're going to crack it open in a minute. Let's hope we find something as cool as these. All right. Well, here's box number two. And you know what? I'm seeing a lot of newer looking ones on the ends. But fingers crossed that we got something inside. I'll pull you in if we find anything. If not, well, maybe there'll be a third box. Fingers crossed that we get some good stuff in this one. Hopefully those two giant ones gives us some luck. And finally, we get a find. Roll two, not issued for circulation from 2010 in Denver. We got a find. Not silver, but I'll take it. We'll check the albums at the end. I'm pretty sure I have a 2010 Denver NIFC. But this is great. We're finally on the board. Well, collectors, we've gone through nine rolls and four of them contain nothing but uncirculated 2000 Philadelphias. Yes, well, these are 22 years old, and yes, they are uncirculated, and no, I'm not gonna keep any of these. Why? Because frankly, I don't think they're really worth it. Um, they were plenty, plenty made, they're not scarce at all, and they're not low mintage like the NIFC. Sure, they're in great shape, but not everything has value. I'll put these in rolls, bring them back to the bank, and let's hope, yeah, there are more in here for sure, scattered. Hopefully this is not a disaster. Roll 16 gives us another NIFC, this time 2010 from Philadelphia. So we have one from each mint that uh, created, I guess I was gonna say circulated, but I would say conventional strikes, not proof strikes. There we go. Okay, roll 25, and we have another not intended for circulation find, 1987 from Philadelphia. It is in bad shape. Now, I pulled one that was in uncirculated shape last year. Um, again, these are not supposed to be in circulation. Uh, the 87s are, in particular, hard to find. This one has seen a lot of wear. Very surprising. Uh, we'll pull it aside with the others. Again, no silver yet. We still have about half a box to go. Fingers crossed. I do think we have a few roll, uh, uncirculated rolls left to go through. And then we have a bunch of circulated ones. So fingers crossed we'll find something good. A collectors, well, that box is hunted. And no silver in this box either. Um, you know, getting silver um, from half dollars in the circulation is really tough. I mean, we've had some really great luck earlier this year. But we still have some fines. Three NIFC, not issued for circulation. Uh, 2010, Philly and Denver. And 1987, it's a shame this is so worn because this one's quite hard to come by. Um, well, anyway, listen, thanks for watching as always. Please leave a comment and subscribe. And as always, happy collecting.
We'll add these to our NIFC collection from this year.